Merry Christmas YouTubers. Just a quick video today, just setting up the figures pretty much how they're going to look on Christmas Eve for when the boys come down. So I just thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, you can see the auxiliaries have been based now, I um, just need a couple of command figures for them and then they're done. If I just zoom out and get a bit of an idea of what we've got. So I've got the Romans there and then on the right side We've got all the buttons. I apologise for keep zooming in, zooming out. I'm doing this on an iPhone, um, so it's not ideal. So I think the project's gone pretty good, actually. Um, a lot quicker than I thought it would take. I honestly thought I would be painting up to Christmas Eve all the way. I've obviously put the hours in. Still, you know, a lot of figures on the table. Still, that takes time, but by dipping them, um, it's definitely definitely made it a quicker process. And it's um, yeah, I can highly recommend using the dip method. It's all about how you, how you feel. I'm more about getting the figures on the table so that you can play with them, and less about you know, an amazing paint job. If it's got a basic paint job, and that's all these are really dipped and highlighted. Um, it's got a basic paint job, they look good enough to play with. I'd rather that than spend months and months making an amazing army, which I have tried to do in the past. And you, normally, you just, you know, you you start to move on to something else, you'll get halfway through the project and then uh, and then your interest will start to go and you'll, you'll find something else. Obviously, I have a bit more incentive with these ones, is because it's for my sons on uh, Christmas Day, so... Obviously, a bit more, a bit more incentive to get the the army completed. But it's you know, it's gone well. It's gone um, it's gone a lot a lot better than I thought. And like I say, I've although I have put you know obviously quite a few hours in. You know, they're not going even with the dip method. They're still they're not going to do it themselves. It's it's still gone a lot quicker, and I've got a lot more done. Um, originally, I was only going to go for a couple of units each, and um, as you can see, we've actually got quite a lot done. And still, with um, a couple of weeks to go, but now because it's because I could pretty much just put this out what I've got now. There's um, there's no you know pressure to be painting like mad for the last couple of weeks. I can relax and maybe you know pick something that I enjoyed doing, like particularly the chariots. I enjoyed painting the chariots, so uh, maybe do you know a couple more chariots or yeah. You know, a couple more, you know, another unit of slingers, or I can pick and choose really, to just to, to bulk it out a little bit. I think there's enough uh, figures on the table to have a good game with. So you see that I made a little, a little four. I know it's not round, but um, it's just made out of matchsticks really, just for the uh, for the Britons to have something. And you see, uh, I go around here, you can see that the uh, the scorpion has already made a little hole in it. See the uh, gate house there, with the uh, horse motif on the uh, on the front, and uh, a couple of Roman heads stuck on the uh, poles there as well. And already the um, our little friend, the tortoise, he's making his way towards that hole. Enjoying painting this one, I mean, well making and painting it. I say making it; it was only like, four resin sides and a roof, so. Not too tasking, and, it, um, and obviously shield transfers for the uh, for the shield. So there wasn't actually that much painting involved, um, but it, it's a nice little nice little piece to have on your battlefield, and I highly recommend getting one of those. How much use it'll get? Not too sure, but um, try and use it as much as possible. If the uh, if my sons let me play the Romans, uh, although I've got a feeling that most of the times I'll probably be the Britons. Although I have done one. One uh, army for each, because uh, one of my sons uh, particularly likes the Romans, and the other ones uh, he does actually like the Britons. So, so that so that worked well. So I could uh, could end up on either side, really. We'll see, or none, because they might not let me play them. But we'll see. Hopefully they will. They normally do. So there we are with the Scorpion, and then we got the Roman line, the uh, Victorian there, Victorian guard. And 
get Emperor watching on, making sure he's uh, making sure his troops are performing well. So yeah, it's been a it's been a good project. If anyone's got any, I haven't actually the rules that we're going to go for because I have actually got a copy are uh, the Warhammer Ancients rules. Um, they're quite an old set that I've got now, probably not up to date. But I think they'll be good enough to start off with. Well, if anyone's got any recommendations for some, you know, reasonably easy rules for uh, for two twelve year olds to follow, uh, and myself because I'm not the best at following rules as well, um, then you know, please let me know. Just have you know, just some a fun set of rules. We'll 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 start off with the Warhammer Ancients and we'll see how we go. They're all like, all the figures are pretty much individually based, apart from the likes of the chariots and that. So uh, any rules that if that you think might be more suitable or that or that you can recommend then uh, please let me know and I'll certainly look look into getting them. Um, but yeah. Um I think that's about it. I say it's been a good project. Um I've enjoyed it. The fact that it's gonna be a Christmas present as well makes it all that much uh, much more fun. And um I think uh I think they'll be uh, quite pleased. Quite pleased when they come down uh on Christmas Day and uh, on Christmas morning, and uh, see all this on the table, and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of games in over the Christmas period and uh, really uh, have a good time and enjoy it. That's... Anyway, have a nice Christmas, the rest of you, and uh, hopefully um, get some more videos on in the new year. With uh, who knows, maybe next year's project. Any uh, <laughs> any suggestions on next year's project? Please let me know in the uh, comments what you like, what you think. Um, like I say we've done so far. What have we done? We've done 15 millimeter rapid fire World War Two. Uh, we've done uh, 28 millimeter American Civil War. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter late Romans uh, with War Master Ancient Reels, I believe. Um, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think what else we've done. I think that, oh, uh, we did the ships one year as well. And uh, when they were really younger, we used to do some some lovely figures from um, Fighting 15s, which were basically how you imagine the uh, a toy soldier to look, you know, a bit like uh, from the Nutcracker type of... Uh, and they, they had them when they were very young, and they were, uh, they were <laughs> their first war game figures, shall we say. Um, with a little cannon that fired matchsticks. So anyway, uh, I'm waffling now, so have a good Christmas, and I shall catch you later. Goodbye.